sit, 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 sit. Nice and tall. Give yourself a little stretch to close your eyes. And be very led by what you feel like doing. So just have a, a wiggle of your neck, of your back. Find all the bits that are a bit groany this morning, a little bit complainy, and just really gently push into them. And then take that movement down, further down your back, come to the hips, so side to side. Maybe backwards and forwards, probably not quite so much there. Maybe when, when you move forward, you might feel something there. And move everything. Have you found any achy bits? Have you found any bits that are a little bit stiff? Well, we'll wake them all up and we will move them all this morning. And just an opportunity here for us to check in with ourselves, to think about our breath, to bring yourself all into one place. And notice as that it completely sort of distant view of yourself as an observer, if you can, how you're feeling. And what are the emotions that you've been enjoying, not enjoying, that have been bubbling up, that have been being squished down, that you're celebrating, that you're enjoying? What are the feelings that you've been experiencing lately or this morning or yesterday? You see what comes up, observe and try and gently put aside the stuff that's not you right now. Separate what was from what is. Where are you right now? How do you feel? And don't be surprised if it's lots of different things. We are far more complicated than one dimension. And then start to find your stillness, find your Sit bones, dropping down, letting go. Have you been holding on? Have you been compensating? Have some muscles been working to protect you from some others that didn't want to be disturbed? See if you can find them and tell them to just let go, ease off. Relax your shoulders, relax your spine. Keeping that length, letting go of the tension. Check around your lower ribs and your back. Check your belly, let it go. And your hips, jaw, forehead, wherever you hold your tension, just whizzing around, just a gentle tour of the body. Letting go. Trusting that the earth is there, will hold you up. And let's come into some breath work. So this morning we'll just do, um, actually, no, scrap that. We're going to move a little first and let's make a little bit more space. So let's make space. Come into Balasan. So take your knees slightly wide, big toes together. Stretch your arms forward. So let's slide down the mat. Slide, 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 slide. And bring your forehead down. Feel that you are really opening up under your arms. So stretch your hands away. Creep your fingers a little further. Lengthen through the sides of your body. So sending your hips back to your heels. Body is soft, knees are wide. And think about making space in your torso. And staying low, let's walk the hands over now to the left side. 
So just moving over gently, keeping low. You'll probably bump into your thigh. We slide over, trying to get a nice opening up on the right side of your body. Can you feel that? But maybe all the way from your wrist, up your forearm, upper arm, underarm, the side of your ribs, the side of your body, maybe even all the way down to your hip. And then let's walk back. Take an inhale. Back to center, exhale, moving over to the right. And we're looking for the same sensations that we felt on the other side, noticing if they're different, if you've had an old injury or if you've been favoring one side over the other in an activity recently, you might notice that there's a different sensation. Just observing. Keep breathing nice and deep. And then let's take an inhale to come back. And exhale, stretching forward again, bring your forehead down to the mat. Feel like you're relaxing your entire spine, letting it rest. And then let's move the hands back up. Support yourself all the way up. So walking your hands up, keeping your body heavy, doing all the work with your arms, and then come back. So if you're happy sitting up on heels, sit up on heels. If that's not a position you like, maybe you want to come in forward into Balakonasan, sit however you feel like sitting. And feel free to change that position if you get to a point where you think, nope, I'm being distracted by the sensations in my body because I'm not comfortable, change your position. But whatever you do, let's try and make some space in the body. So lift up, take the forehead a little bit, sort of wide, open, lengthening through the neck, crown of the head moving up, and lovely length. Relax your shoulders. Take your shoulder blades a little bit towards each other so we have that space. So the whole of the front of the body feels open and expansive. Ah. So let's breathe in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. We're going to count in, hold, count out, hold, and repeat. So it's a box breath, basically. If the counting doesn't suit you, go at your own pace and ignore me completely. Um, I am not comfortable in Bhagavan at the moment, so I'm changing my position. So just as a reminder to do that, if it, however you're sitting isn't working for you. We want to be able to focus fully on the breath and not be distracted by sensations in the body. So let's close the eyes. And if you like, you can imagine a square in front of you. And you move your gaze. So your eyes move, even though you've got your eyes closed, from the top left corner to the top right on our inhale. On our exhale, I'm oh, sorry, on our hold. We'll move from the top right to the bottom right corner. And then on our exhale, we'll move from the bottom right to the bottom left. And on our next hold on empty, we will move the eyes from bottom left to top left. If that made no sense at all to you whatsoever, worry not, just breathe in and out and hold. And I'll tell you when. So let's start. Up nice and tall. And inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold.
Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. And do two more rounds at your own pace. And breathe easily and comfortably back to just easy, relaxed breath when you're ready. And then let's start to move. So come into a tabletop position, nice and slow, take it easy. Think about your sun kalpa for the day, for your practice as you bring yourself into a nice easy tabletop position. Now tuck your toes under. If your wrists are feeling a little bit tender here, you can um, come into a forearm, but if you can, try and lift up out of your wrists. Don't dump your weight down into your wrists. So let's take the knees off. So we're gonna hold here for a moment. So squeeze your Belly in towards your spine, gently lifting up so that you're lifting your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Knees are off the mat and press your toes into the mat. So if you can move your knees backwards and forwards just slightly, you'll be able to stretch out those muscles at the back of your toes, the backs of your toes rather. Squeeze, let's hold five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them back down. And we're gonna straighten the legs here and come into downward facing dog. So lifting up all the way. Paddle a little bit here. So paddle the knees. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Intensified as you bend the other leg. A little bit of a paddle and starting to get into your alignment. So do you need to move your hands a little further or a little closer? Gently moving the legs still, maybe lift off. So bring the left thigh into the chest and then pop that leg back down. Bring the right thigh into the chest. Send your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Lift your hips away, away from your heels and away from your wrists. And now look towards your hands, bring yourself forward, coming into a little bit of a plank. Well, not a little bit of a plank, an actual real plank. We're not pretending here, so squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, and then come forward, hang the body between your hands. A little bit of a hanging cobra, so toes are still pressing down into the mat. And again, you can move backwards and forwards if you feel that you want to open up the body. So sending the chest forward. Notice how that feels around your lower back, around your hips. And bring your body down to the mat. Release your feet, so you should be in a bit of a cobra. Bring your belly down to the mat slowly, keeping your elbows tucked in. Don't let them flare out to the side. Slowly moving down all the way till your forehead touches the ground. And then we're going to push back into downward facing dog again. 
Back to the dog. Bend your hip up. And this time we're gonna lift the right leg. So send your right leg up. Bring your right leg in towards your chest. Send it up and out again. This time bring it into your left elbow. You're taking it across the body. Bring it forward all the way, all the way, all the way. Can you touch your left elbow? And then send it back again. And then we're going to bring it to step between your hands. Bring yourself up. Your clothes seem to be removing themselves. It's not good. Bring yourself up into a warrior one. So arms up, chest up, opening up. Lovely, gorgeous stretch all the way across the front of the body. Try not to let that left hip flare up and out. Let's bring it forward. Take it forward in the direction of your right leg as well. So lift the chin a little. Well done. Bring your hands down to your thigh. Take your hands down to the mat. Come into a low lunge. Let's take that left knee down to the mat. Release the feet. Bring yourself up again. So knee to the mat. That allows us to dip a little deeper into this stretch. So stretching out the hips and the back. Keep yourself upright. Keep your shoulders moving back. Beautiful posture. Opening up the front of the body. And take your hands back down. Tuck your toes under. Let's scoot that right foot back and bring ourselves into a plank again. A little bit of a plank. <laughs> a lot of a plank. A complete plank. Squeeze glutes, squeeze thighs. Everything hopefully in a nice straight line and then bring yourself back to downward facing dog. Heels down, stretch, sit bones up, shoulders wide. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be lifting the left leg and bringing it into the chest, squeeze it in. Slowly taking it back up again. This time, bring it in to the right elbow. Can you bring your knee to touch your right elbow? And then take the leg all the way back and up again. And this time, look to the hands and we're gonna step it forward. So bring it forward, step it between your hands and coming up into our warrior one. Nice low hips. Right hip moving forward as well. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Keep that length in the front of the body by lifting your chin. Can you dip a little lower? Breathe. You might be starting to warm up a little bit. And then let's take the hands to the thigh. Take that back knee down. Release the foot and let's sink a little lower, a little bit more opening in the hip. You can take your hands up again if you want. Breathing nice and deep. Breath going right down into your belly, into the sides of your body as well. And then let's take the hands down. Take that left foot back, come into plank again. And let's come into a hanging cobra, take the hips forward. Hips forward, body lifted off the mat if you can. Pushing up with the shoulders so you're not dropping down into the wrist, protecting the wrist. Release, bring your body to the mat. Let go of your feet. So the tops come to the mat and then elbows in, supporting yourself very slowly. So taking your belly down to the mat, just a little bit at a time. 
There we go, all the way down and come into Makara. So hands or arms stacked one on top of the other. And then we can come onto the side of the body. So roll over onto your side. The, you have different choices with this arm. Do what works for you. If you're happy to be propped up on your elbow, go ahead. If you would rather be lying flat, go ahead and do that. You can change as well if you don't like where you are. So we're just going to put the left foot in front of the right knee. Okay, so we're lying on our right side. Left leg comes over. And just see how you go. If it's very uncomfortable on your hip, maybe change your position to roll out a little bit or in a little bit. But if you can, try and keep your hips stacked in a straight line facing up to the ceiling. And we're going to press down into the left leg and lift the right. So the muscles on the inside of the thighs are very interesting muscles because they're long and involved in being able to twist the leg. They don't have to do this very often, so it can be quite a challenge. So let's just lift and lower and push away from your right shoulder. If you're starting to collapse into it, then maybe it's better to come into a lower, a lower lean, Is that a lower lean. And we're just going up and down, squeezing the muscles on the inside of the thigh. We're also stretching out the hip. So do that for maybe 10 repetitions. Can you lift a little higher? Can you squeeze a little more? I have totally lost count. Anybody got anybody kept count? I think that might be nine and 10. There we go. So relax that leg down. Stack your feet one on top of the other. In a straight line. Take your arm up. Let's just balance. And we're going to shift around to the other side. So we're going to just do that by coming up. Swinging the legs around straight over to the other side. Or if there's some other beautiful way you'd like to do that, go ahead and do it. There we go. So right leg comes over, right knee up. Find your position and let's start moving that leg, the left leg this time. Let me try and not lose count this time. Five. And nine. And 10. And over to lying on your back. Press your feet down into the mat and bring yourself up into bridge. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your thighs. Feel as if you've got a balloon between your knees and you're trying to squeeze that balloon. So bringing the knees in towards each other, bringing the thighs in, but at the same time, trying to lift the hips a little higher, squeezing the glutes as well. Bring yourself up onto toes. Push the tops of your feet around your ankles forward. And if that's not comfortable, bring your feet back down to being flat on the floor. Squeeze a little higher. Bring your feet back down now and let's push all of the way into the left foot. Get the right foot up. Pressing down into your arms. Push into your backs of your arms here. Help you bring that right leg up. Point your toes, lift up, touch the ceiling, and back down. Take a breath. Pushing all the way into your right foot. 
Lifting up with the left. Lift a little higher. Point your toes. Squeeze your glutes, pushing into your arms. And bring that back down too. Well done. Slowly take your back, back to the mat. Very slowly. Last thing to come down is your hips. Keep your back curled a little. And then release. Bring your knees into your chest, a little bit of a rock from side to side. And we will come up to sitting. So however works for you. If you want to rock up, rock up, rock up to sitting. Make sure you have a little bit of space, sitting up nice and tall, Paschimottanasana. So let's come into west facing pose, inhaling your arms up, exhale, fold. Try and keep your back straight, don't curl your back here. And we're going to stay in Paschimottanasana for about 10 breaths. So use your breath to move your torso closer to your thighs, keeping your chin lifted, keeping your neck long, relaxing your shoulders. And keeping your back quite straight, folding at the hips. So the hinge is at the hips, Use your arms to guide you. If your back is feeling a little bit like it needs some care, then don't pull. Do all the work from your core. Last two breaths here. Pushing your knees into the mat if they've decided to lift up a little. Last one. Well done. Bring yourself up. Let's take the right foot over the left leg. So left leg is extended, right foot comes over, right knee is facing up towards you. Take your left hand, hook around, hold on to that leg, and then take the right hand out for a little bit of a stretch. Get those shoulders, the mid body, and of course your neck all the way up. So take that stretch and that twist as high as you can. All the way. You can really use your arms here. Be guided by what's good for your body. And then bring yourself back. So head comes back to center. Release your shoulders. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So send your right foot out. Left leg comes over this time. Holding on with your right hand. Taking the left arm out. Make that nice and big, huge, expansive gesture. Open up the chest and then take your hand down. Use this right hand to give yourself a little bit of leverage to twist. Still lifting up both sit bones on the mat. Are they both there? Is one floating? Opening up around to the side. We're going to come back up to some standing postures after this. And bring your head back to center, release that shoulder, come all the way around and we're going to come up into a squat. So however works for you, pop yourself up into a squat. Traveling mat syndrome here, it's moving. 
So bring yourself up into a squat, take your knees wide and heels in. So we can do a bit of balance work. If you can, come up onto toes. And we're going to take the knees out as far as possible. So it's kind of like a Badakonasan, but we are in a squat version of Badakonasan. Taking the knees as wide as you can. We're really making the toes work here and we're making the feet work as well. Try to keep upright. Well done. That's lovely. Very nice. And let's add on, can we take the arms up? Maybe bring the hands together. We could start our own little Cossack dancing class. I would love to be able to do that. Not sure the knees have got it in them anymore. Not sure it's terribly good for them either, but hey. And then let's reach out and down. So nice and wide. Think about those shoulders. How are the feet feeling? Let's come up into goddess. So bring your feet flat to the floor. Take your feet out wide. Use your hands to support yourself here. Bring yourself over to the right and to the left, just giving those knees a bit of a, a bit of some movement there. Make that movement deeper, so hips go right down to the right heel, stretching out the left, and the left stretching out the right. We're still in a low sort of wide squat. The legs haven't completely gone out to the sides. So we're gonna do a little bit of strength work here Keep the back straight, lift up. Find your alignment. Use your hands, resting in. Try and bring the hips as low as you can. And we're still keeping those dynamic, moving from side to side. Let's get lots of gentle and unusual movement in the hips there. So we're ready for the strength part. This is the stretch part. We're going to straighten the body and raise the arms. So find your middle point, find your balance. Think about squeezing all the muscles in your thighs, in your glutes, bring the arms up. Send the chest forward. Can you drop a little lower? How are you going? Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up to standing. Well done. Hold, hold the hips. Fold at the hips. And then come all the way down. Let's get a little bit of blood to the head, the neck, to the shoulders. Relax your arms. Just drop them down. You can cross your arms. Allow your arms to be heavy. Feel them lengthening the sides of your body for you by just adding a little weight. Don't lock your knees. A little bit of a bend in the knees so that you, just so you feel that it's not locked. So lock your knees, send your knees back behind you. Just keep your legs absolutely rigid and then see what that feels like and release so that we're not doing that anymore. Oh, start to feel the change in pressure in your head, in your face, in the roof of your mouth, in your eyes. Where else can you feel it? How does that feel? How does it feel in your ears? In the back of your neck? Keep your breath steady and even. And then let's slowly uncurl. Use that strength in your legs. 
slowly, 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 all the way up. We were, we were in an inversion for a little while, so now noticing how that feels. Do you feel that there's a cooling sensation? Or do you feel warm? Just noticing. So let's move a little bit more now. Let's walk the feet in. And let's come into a bit of balance, strength and stretch. So Padangasasana, take the weight down into your left foot. Watch that you're not sending your body over too far one way or the other. So left leg is strong, but again, not locked. So that knee has a little bit of a bend in it. We want to use the muscles, not just rely on the bones. So we're going to lift the right leg. Take your yoga hold. So first two fingers, if it's comfortable for you. It's not uh, comfortable for everybody, this, this toe hold, because they feel like they're pulling their toe off. If that's the case for you, then just use the outside edge of your foot and hold on there. You'll have to, you'll have to uh, lengthen your arm a little more because you lose a little bit of length there. So we're lifting up, bring the heel up. And use your left hand as well. So how far up can you comfortably bring that left foot? The knee is high. Standing leg is not locked. And then we're going to send that right leg out in front. So let it move away from you. So the challenge here is leg and foot has to go, shoulder has to stay. So there's a sort of battle there, figure out what works for you, We've all got different proportions. And at the same time, a little thought for that standing leg, doing lots of work there quietly, while we're very distracted, trying to balance, trying to keep the shoulders in line with each other. And lifting. Well done, if you come out, just come back in. We're still there. Keep breathing. Focus on a point somewhere in front of you and stare at it as if your life depended on it. And then slowly let your gaze become unfocused and soft. Are we ready to let go? Keep the leg up. So leg up, hands to hips. Let's count five, four, three, two, and one, slowly lower with control. Ah, there you go, that's the strength part. <laughs> right leg down now. So really noticing when you, when you put your attention into what you're doing with one bit of your body, give it your whole attention. So how does the sole of your foot feel? Where are you finding that balance? Where are you feeling wobbly? any parts of your foot that feel different to how you would like them to feel, just noticing and then making sure that that standing leg is not locked. Are we ready? We're gonna do the same on this side. So take a breath. Maybe now's the time to rem remember your Sankalpa and let's take the left leg up. So same again, yoga hold. And right arm is on your hip or flying around for balance, whatever you need to do. Up nice and tall, length between your chin and your belly. And then let's bring that foot up. And taking the foot up, twisting in the hip a little there. Again, a slightly unusual sensation, waking up some muscles that perhaps are having a little doze or are feeling a little tender. And then take a breath and we're gonna move that foot forward. So ready, inhale and exhale. Okay, check the shoulders, draw the left shoulder back. Still trying to lengthen in that leg, settling the left hip back and down, lengthen the body, not folding. <laughs> well done. 
and I may, maybe um, sometimes putting the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and pressing gently helps with balance too. Think about how strong that standing leg is and lift your hip away from your knee. Lift your kneecaps up towards your hip. Lots of strength there. And anytime you come out, come back in. You don't have to completely straighten the leg. You can keep a bend in the leg if it's easier. And let's release. Are you ready? Release five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lower. Take the legs wide. Prasarita Padatasan. Give your hips a rub. Give them a little bit of a wiggle from side to side. Stretching out a little deeper, sending the right arm down the right leg, left arm down the left leg. And then let's come into a triangle. Take the right toes out. Slide down, take the left arm over. So again, stretching out the hip this way. Staying in one line, not rolling forwards or backwards. Can you take the weight off your hand, the right hand, so that you're using your body and your legs? And then bring that left arm up. Feel as if somebody's pulling you gently upwards to come out. And let's go straight over to the other side, sending the left toes forward all the way into that beautiful triangle. <laughs> Lovely posture. And bring the arm over if you want to. Or stay as you were. Open. Let's not lock the legs, especially the left. And then coming up, somebody's gently holding your hand, giving you a little bit of a pull all the way up. Come into Prasarita Padotasan. So hands on hips as you gently fold forward. And again, lifting the kneecaps up all the way down. Bring your head down to the mat towards the mat. Take your legs a little further if you like. So hands on the mat, walking your feet out, bringing your forehead behind, bringing the crown to the floor. And breathe. And let's come back up again, walk the feet in, come into a squat, come down to the floor, and let's come into a gomukasan, a little bit of hips and shoulders at the same time. So right foot comes into the left heel, heel, <laughs> looking at my left heel, left heel comes over the right knee, and right heel comes into the left hip. You knew what I meant, didn't you? Hold on, get some length in the body. And then if you can, bring your knees to stack one over the other. If that's too strong in the hip, then bring your foot back and just stay here. If that's too strong in the hip, and it might be different on each side. So honor what is going on for you. Don't push into pain. You might be here instead. They're all good. Come to what works for you. Gomokasan is quite uncomfortable for me in my left hip today, but it's not painful. So there's the balance, finding what is going to help you, not what is going to make it worse. 
and only you know because you're the you're the expert on your body up tall sit bones both on the mat watch out for that left one wanting to come up and then let's work on doing something with the shoulders too so let's take the left arm up right arm comes under and find yourself find that connection if you need to grab something to hold on with each hand so that you can both both of them can be holding onto the same piece of cloth or maybe a t-shirt but maybe you're clasping hands whatever is working for you we are focusing on opening up under the arm here all the way that nice stretch that we don't normally get bringing the arm all the way behind and on this side it's more into the shoulder there we go keep the length breathe try and find your peace and comfort in the pose We're relaxing into it, not fighting. Are you ready to release now? Release. And let's come into another twist. So let's twist and open the back of the body here. So let's take the left arm across the right arm over join your hands together and then send your elbows up if you push your hands forward towards me you will get more of a twist and a stretch across the back meanwhile relax into the legs have you found a little comfort there? Has it eased? Feel that all the way across the tops of your shoulders, maybe hopefully across your mid back as well. And release. And curl. We have to remember which way around we went. So next time the right arm is going to come under, don't we forget. So we're going to switch the legs. Do that any way that works for you. Today I'm going very simple, just switching the legs. So notice how's that compared with the other side? Do you have the same sensations in the same places or is it slightly different? Lifting up tall, sit bones on the mat. And this time we're taking the right arm up, the left arm comes behind. And again. Which side is easier for you? Are they both the same? Are they wildly different? And is this something that you know you have to be very gentle with? In which case, take the appropriate measures. Here it would be using a prop so that you're not stretching out too much. And this is the point in yoga where I normally think, oh, I really need to do more of this. I'm stiffening up terribly. You know, you're here. Give yourself the credit that you deserve for getting yourself to your mat. And anything beyond that, is, consider it a bonus. But don't be horrible to yourself if you don't. It's hard. Go on practicing. So sitting up tall, breathe. Try and find that kind voice. And release. Come out. And then we said right arm under, didn't we? So right arm under, left arm above. Bring your hands around into a namaste. So they are pressing in towards each other. And then let's lift the elbows. Lift the elbows, send the hands forward. Keep your length in the body. Neck is long. Well done. Mm. 
And let's breathe one more in and out. And then Pearl, did you manage to keep your focus on yourself in that asana? Or was it difficult to bring your legs into Vandha Konasana here? So it's still a stretch, just a little bit different. Pulling the feet in, knees out. It might be much easier because we have just been stretching out the hips in a slightly different way. And if you feel like it, if it is comfortable for you or if you want to intensify the stretch, you do that by bringing your body forward. I know you know that. So do that if you wish. And come back up. Taking the right hand over just behind the right knee. Take the left hand and let's open up. So one more. Come all the way up and then start to bend that right elbow, bringing yourself over to the side, looking up if you can. Drop the right shoulder if it's nestling up towards your ear. And then let's come up. All the way over to the other side. So same thing, straight over, no pulls. Again, take the shoulder away. I'm trying to get to the bits that don't get don't get got to during the week. So come back out. And let's come into lying on our backs. How are we going to do that? We have to do a little bit of boat, I think. So sitting up tall, long back. Lift the legs and how how do you feel like challenging yourself today? Maybe today is not a challenge day. Maybe today is a be gentle and kind day. Do you do what works for you for today? And today is not forever. So whatever you do today doesn't mean you have to carry on doing it. Doesn't mean you have to do something different you can. Just come into your boat, whatever boat you want to go in. And let's hold five, four, three, two, and one. Taking the legs down and let's come down to lying on the mat. However works for you. Rolling down is probably the gentlest way. Let's take the legs up. So taking the legs up towards the ceiling, pull your toes in towards your face. And then let's take the right leg out to the side. So left leg stays where it is. And see if you can keep your left leg absolutely still as you slowly edge the right leg away out to the right side. Take your arms into a T. Give yourself some support. How's that left leg doing? Are you managing to keep it still or is it wibbling and wobbling around? Right leg slowly moving down towards the ground. And come to wherever you come to. And hold. Just let the weight of your right leg Help gently stretch out the whole of the inside of your leg, all the way from the arch of your foot into your groin. Try not to let your torso turn, and then we're going to bring your leg back. Whoa, this might be quite interesting. Nice and slow. Keep it slow. Don't forget to breathe. 
So if you've got wobbles and shakes, that's good. As you're working those muscles, waking them up. Legs back together and then the left starts and the right stays still. Interesting to notice what happens in your shoulders as the leg gets further and further away from the midline. All the way up to the side. And then just hold in that position for a moment. Take a breath. And then let's bring it back. Bring it back. Don't worry, I won't sing. It's supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> All the way back, nice and slow. And when they're reunited, bring them in for a hug. Give them a squeeze as tightly as you can, squeezing into the belly, helping with your digestion, giving everything a nice massage. Maybe a little rock from side to side. Can you squeeze your thighs into your torso a little tighter? And release. Take the knees over to the right. Arms come back into that T. Push your shoulders into the mat. Feel that you've got as much the backs of your shoulders and your arms in contact with the floor as possible. And knees come over to the right. Head comes over to the left. That's a gorgeous twist. And we've warmed up for this so well today because we've done quite a lot of twists already. We've opened up the side of the body as well, sitting and standing. If you want to intensify the stretch, you know what to do, straighten your legs, experiment with putting one over the other. Do what you feel drawn to do, start to listen to and read your body. And bring your head back to center and the knees back to center. Whatever you do, just do the same on the other side as far as is possible. You have to make adaptations, you have to make adaptations. So legs over to the left, gaze over to the right. Mm. And head back to center, knees back to center. Give yourself a last lovely hug, bringing your forehead up. And come into Shavasana. Give yourself lots of space, take up lots of room, take up as much room as you want. Allow yourself to come to a state of complete and utter rest and relaxation. Close your eyes. Make space. Breathe. Send your heels away from you to lengthen each leg. The same with your arms. Make as much length as possible in your arms, sending your wrists away. Your 
feel that your pelvis is completely supported and at rest and it has all the space it needs to be able to just completely relax, fully supported by the earth. The same with the shoulders. Allow them to be as open and as relaxed as they can. Lengthen through the neck a little. And relax your whole body. Bring yourself back to your sankalpa. If you have one, your intention for yourself. Maybe it's changed. Maybe it's the same. And think about how you wish to be in the world. And what you want for yourself. How you want to feel. What do you want more of? What can you make space for? With every in-breath, take in that energy, take in that power, that fire, to give you all the tools that you need to do what you want to do. And with each out-breath, let go, release things that you do not need. Release anything that stops you and holds you back. Make space in your mind, body, and your spirit. And breathe in and out slowly and deeply at your own pace. Knowing that you can bring yourself back <clears throat> to this state of complete and utter relaxation at any point during your day. And just knowing that gives you the strength and the power to go forward and do whatever it is you want to do. Taking an inhale. As you inhale, just gently bringing yourself over to your right side. Taking a little time here to settle, to notice. To feel that powerful rush of gratitude for all that you have, all that you are, knowing that you're enough. And keeping your eyes closed, gently bringing yourself up to sitting. Setting the tone for your day being gentle with yourself, being kind, being full of gratitude for what is. Being encouraging and positive and accepting. And gently bringing your hands to heart center. Let's Get some warmth there. Let's rub the hands together as hard and as fast as you can. And then cup them over your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And out, keeping that space there, that nice dark space. Open your eyes into the space on your next breath. And as you breathe out, making the eyes wide. And as you breathe in again, gently lowering the hands to heart center. And as you breathe out, namaste. Thank you very much for joining me, for joining you, for making time for your practice. 
and I hope you have a gorgeous day.